You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and check out this cool set. It is a romper room doobie dough machine. Colorful gears turn and click as bell signals that mold is ready. Ages three to uh, eight, 1971 Hasbro Industries. Now we've done a bunch of other older romper room toys. Let me just flip the box around. That's a repeat side. Let's see if we get something different here. Ooh, the romper room story. What it means for your child. Romper room, which began in 1953, is now the world's largest television kindergarten. Romper room provides education in the home and prepares children for the school years ahead. The idea behind romper room was to make learning seem like play and to make playing a way to learn. Mr. Doobie an imaginary character from Leonard and Romper Room Children is a symbol of good health and safety habits. The highly specialized research and development program behind all Romper Room products helps create and design toys and games that parents can't depend upon when choosing proper play items for the preschool child. All right, and they have this color chart here. It's a green toy, a yellow toy. I guess that would signify crafts. Uh, white is visual aids, pink is games. There is one odd side here this one here which is kind of neat. i always like looking at the old artwork all right it's time to check out the doobie dough machine when i come back i'll have everything out of the box and we'll learn about it here we go doobie dough is out of the box and so are the four molding shapes now i have what i believe to be like a sun shape and then this looks like mr doobie himself yes i believe our B is a boy, and then here is a turtle, and then a clown, okay? Those are cool, they, slid, they slide right into this section here, but let's take a look at our machine. So it's clear on three sides, look at that, so you can see inside. And then here's how it works. Uh, headphone users, make sure you have your headphones adjusted because you're gonna hear some clicking. Okay, see this is going up here, as I turn the handle, and then it'll ding when it's set, and you bring it back down, and you take off your mold there. So here is the little clicker. Now watch, it's clicking on the side as I do this here. Can you see that? I hope so. Okay, so you can. okay, and then while I'm here, look inside. See the bell? There's a bell with this spring right here on our right side. Watch. It's going to start to bend. It's locked in, and it's going to hit the bell. Here we go. Ding. And when you bring it back down, it'll relock back in, and you bring it back up. Okay? And then to activate everything here, let me just wind it back. I know it's loud. You're going to put this into this. Okay? With your dough in there, I guess. There is no instruction, so I kind of have to figure it out. And then determine, you know, the best amount of dough, which I will do next. So when I come back, I'll have the Play-Doh out that we're going to use because I don't have the original Doobie Dough that came with the set. And we'll get started. All right, here's my four colors today. That looks like a light teal, a pink, a light purple, and an orange. Now, if it looks different to you, it could just be the way the camera's picking them up. Here we go. There's that one. And that one. We're just I just like to do this so we could see how close the lid matches to the actual color, right? Now these were all pretty fresh except for my last one. I had ripped it apart. But it's still pretty intact. There we are. The orange. Okay, so there are my four colors. Now what do I want to do? Let's move these out of the way. Let's start with this one here. Now I'm assuming I've got to put some in here first before I slide it on. So let me grab a color that is a little bit different. So I'm going to rip half. I don't know how much needs to go in there. I'll push it in to kind of hold it. Maybe you just fill it to your shape there. I don't know. And you put this on. And then as I turn, now we know how all that works. I can kind of just do this and we'll see it all come out. Here we go. Okay, ooh, wait, I'm going to need a lot more dough than that. Oh, man, that's going to take a lot. So let me 
put even more in there and see if that's enough. I might have to get some new colors. Ooh, I feel a little bit. Ooh, look at that thing crank. All right. That's definitely not enough dough. Let me move it back. I can't see this easy getting it all out now. Hmm. Let me push it with my fingers. How's that? That's going to be a lot of work to get that dough out. So let's try it again. Actually, you know what? Let's just push in another color. Yep, it's going to hurt a lot of people because they don't like when I mix colors. But now I've got twice as much. Here we go. Let's do it again. This time, double the dough. Let's go, Doobie. Can you handle it? Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's what we want to hear. The cranking. The pressure. Cool. Wait for that ding. Wait for it. I'm going slow. That's much better. How cool is that? Look at that. Let's get this one out of the way. It's kind of, ooh, there was a little bit of extra color in there from the second color. There's the ding. Okay, so we've pressurized now. That's neat. All right. I'm going to do all four. So at some point, I'll let me do one more, and I'm going to have to get more of this dough. Here we go. Let's, oh, let's crank it back. There you go. It should be perfect to slide out. All right, let's leave that one back there. And then let's get another chunk. We'll do the orange with this. Now, that's about how much I put in the other one. So we'll do Mr. Clown, and we'll add a strip around it like that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Check that out. So after this one, I am going to grab more of my Play-Doh. There we go. This one's gonna be really cool. Let's clear everything out so we can just focus on that. I'll bring this back in later. Here we go. It's clown time. We want these to go down. Oh, that's so cool. Look at by his eyes and his mouth. I'm just letting it catch up. And I know once it dings, it should slide right out. Give it a little bit more after the ding, kind of hold it there. Okay, it should slide right off, but take a look at that. Got all these cool textures and shapes. Oh, I keep forgetting. Reverse. Okay. There we go. That's pretty neat. I'm going to grab a couple more. Well, actually, i got to grab one, two, four more Play-Dohs. I'll be right back. All right, so I mixed up the color schemes a little bit. I grabbed white, thinking it might be cool to see white and black together. I might fold them a different way, and then I have this darker teal color. And then a really deep blue. I know, I know, a lot of people don't like when you mix Play-Doh, but you know what? New fun things happen when you mix colors. And then here is the last one, black. Plus, we have plenty of Play-Doh that we find at estate sales, garage sales. We always grab it. So there is the next four colors. So, like I said, I want to do these two together. And I'll do these two together. So let's do the turtle. Well, actually, I'll tell you what. Yeah, let's do the turtle. And I'm going to mix these two colors for the turtle. But I'm going to do this a little bit differently here. Okay. And I'm just going to take this and twist this around this. And then put that in my machine. So we should get some different kind of layering here. Take a little bit out. There we go. I know. I never used to mix colors. I go crazy. 
I'd freak out when my kids would mix colors. Don't mix the colors, but it's okay. We just gotta get more Play-Doh, that's the best part. Okay, turtle now, here we go. This way, you can kind of directing it a little bit. Machine's holding up pretty good. There we go. Just gonna let it pressurize. And guess what? I didn't forget this time. I need to reverse it. Okay, there's number three. Nice. Got them all saved. Look at that. And the last one is going to be our little doobie. So what are we going to roll for Doobie here? I did that. Hmm. What do you think if I just take this and just, I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. I've twisted it. Here, let's do this. Okay, then we'll cone it. Then we'll stick it in. This would be, this ought to be good. Here we go. Okay, the last one. I wish I can get you just a little bit better perspective. Let me see if I just turn it down this way. I know the lighting is going to be an issue, but here we go. Ooh, look at that. See how cool that is? It's like snakes. Look at that one there. I don't even want it to ding, it's looking so cool. Okay, I'll let that set. Ooh, check that out. Okay. There is the last one. Okay, so I'll come back. I noticed that I was getting some in here, so I had to clean that out earlier. You know, when I stopped the video, I took a little my little tool and I cleaned this all out. But there's some old, old doobie dough in there from many, many, many years ago. It wouldn't be too easy to get in here and take this apart because you'd have to take the handle and everything apart. So I'll come back now. I'll have them all set up here and we'll take a closer look at them. All right, so there they are. I believe in the order I made them. Uh, what do you think? Which one is your favorite? What looks the coolest? I'm going to go with the black and white. So let me just grab this one here so I can kind of show you what it looks like on all sides. See that? And then here's one more. And I was thinking, you know what? Maybe I should do one more for you. I'll clean one of these out, come back, and I want to mix a bunch of colors. And then look at that one. Very cool. And this one's my favorite. I don't know why. I just like the way it came out. Look at that. It's like sneak. It reminded me of those black snakes at 4th of July that grow when you light them. All right, which one? While I'm here, I'm just gonna do one. Let me save that one. Let me, well, I'm, just, I'm gonna save this one. I think I like this one the least, so I'm gonna mess this one up. Bring this back in, more clicking. Take out some of the stuff that's in there. And then I'm just gonna put some of every color that I have up all the black and then see what we get from something like this this is the last one and I'll end with this and I'll just say thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop hope you enjoyed this one here we've got some other cool vintage sets like this here we go the last one and thanks for giving our videos a thumbs up and sharing them and if you could share this one it would be great it helps out the video. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. You just don't want it to end. There you go. All right. Look at all the pretty colors in there. See, it's okay to mix Play-Doh. And thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Hope you enjoyed the video. Later!
If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.